Hello everybody, I am Bolt Matrix, and today we are taking a look at Zeta Toys' brand new Legends Scale Combiner figures. And the first two are out, and I picked both of these up at The Chosen Prime. We've got Supertron Mini Down Thrust, aka ZC01, and Superitron Mini Sky Strike, aka ZC02. Both of the boxes that these figures come in are really nice. I really like the design on these boxes. They're just really pretty. Yeah, they're the aerial bots. The aerial bots are pretty darn simple, but both of these figures are nifty, and that's why I picked them up. I, I really like these third-party Legends class combiner figures. I, I just think they're nifty. So let's go ahead and open them up. Now, I have already unboxed them, but I want to show you how they are packaged. They are packaged in this wonderful foam that is easily or easy to open. They come with directions. Each figure comes with weapons that are slotted in here. And then this nice cutout for the plane mode. I super appreciate the foam. I mean, it's just super nice, super snug. And that figure is not breaking unless you drop a bowling ball on it. Even then it might not be, well, broken. Out of their packaging, the plane modes are quite nice. They are very well detailed, hold together pretty darn well, and they look like wonderful renditions of the original figures. And I dare say they're actually better renditions of the G1 figures than the G1 figures. And they're just nice. Here we have ZC-01, Down Thrust, AKA Generation 1 Skydive. It's a really nice plane mode. It works incredibly well. And he comes with two guns, and they are modeled each after the original character's Nega gun. So the gun is quite nice, actually. But the plane mode works really, really well. I'm, I'm just super happy with this. This is a wonderful rendition of that original figure. And it works well. The only issue I have with the figure in plane mode is right here at the tip of the beginning of the tail wing. This thing doesn't lock into place. It just kind of flops around a little bit. It's necessary for the transformation, but it doesn't stay on there very well. It, I mean, just a little bit of pressure and it moves, which is unfortunate, but overall solid plane mode here. Very solid. Unfortunately, neither of them have rolling wheels. Oh, well. Now, ZC-02, a.k.a. Sky Strike. This is modeled after the Aerialbot Air Raid, and it works well. It works very well. I'm liking this look. Paint is wonderful. The feel of the figure is wonderful. I, it's even got die cast. Actually, both of them do have die cast, especially on the legs. It's just a really good plane mode. The figure comes with tiny versions of the original character's torque rifle, and yeah, they work. They work really well. The only issue I have with this in plane mode is one, the wings have a tendency to collapse very easily, and the rear tail wings or rear elevators move way too easily. Uh, at the size class, I mean, honestly, who really cares? That Those are just nitpicks. For a size comparison in plane mode, I think it's best to use Core Class Starscream. That's the only figure that's currently in my collection, or that isn't boxed up, that I think scales well to these guys. So, I mean, here, let me stand them up. That's probably going to be a better size comparison. And zoom out a little bit. So here they are. They are roughly... I mean, very, very roughly, just a bit bigger than Core Class Starscream. And I think this guy does a better comparison, because he is the same, <laughs> or supposed to be similar in terms of jet mode. So, they're about three quarters of the... three, maybe a quarter bigger than Core Class Starscream. And I'm okay with that. For the price, it's a little hot. Uh, that's a little high for the size, but... I can't argue with the quality, so let's go ahead and get into the transformation. The transformation for these guys is very similar for both of them, but there are slight differences. For down thrust, start by folding that section that we were talking about earlier up, and then we can lift up the entire tail of the plane mode. Come underneath the front of the cockpit and get your nail in there and open up the air intake 
And then we want to kind of accordion it, well not accordion, double hinge it over to be on the either sides of the cockpit. And getting this back into these, these or getting the air intake back into position when transforming back into plane mode is a pain in the butt. Once you've moved the air to intake over to the sides, grab the entire cockpit, lift it straight up to untab it and fold it back like that and just kind of leave these sections up and out of the way. Then come to the wings and the wings are actually pegged into the side of the fuselage. Unpeg them and then just kind of fold them up and then reach under the back of the figure back by the wings and unpeg the entire top of the fuselage and pull it away from the body like that. That way we can then split the bottom of the plane mode and extend the legs without getting caught on anything. Come to the very back and reach in and flip out the toes and turn them around. And then we could take the sections that the wings are attached to, accordion them or leverage them down and peg them into place. And these will become the heels of the robot mode. So do that on both sides. Then take the wing, fold it down and around like that. So on the other side, take the wing, turn it around 180, take the outside of the wing and fold it up underneath and then fold the wings in and we have got the legs. Now for the head, reach into the area just behind the cockpit, open it up and flip out the robot head. And then the arms are inside the chest, flip them out all the way up. And then there's this little panel that folds down and fills in the cavity, extend the arm and then flip out the fists and do that on the other side. And we've got the robot mode almost done. Fold the backpack up, fold the nose cone up on those on the series of hinges. Now, before you go ahead and combine the backpack up, grab the tail wing and pull it off. I forgot about that. Then you can use the variety of hinges we have here and sandwich these two pieces together so that they will then fold up nicely onto the backpack, like so. And we're done the first robot mode. Okay, I lied. Take the rear tail wing, fold up that one piece that flops around in plane mode, and then plug it back in. And there's a little divot cut out of the back of the canopy right there that'll allow you to do that. Wish this would uh, fold up a little nicer, but eh, oh well. Sky Strike's transformation is virtually the same, but without having to deal with that weird tail mode. The only differences are here at the front of the fuselage. You have to unpeg or flip open this door, so then you can then uh, open up and move the canopy out of the way. And then the rest of it is pretty much the same. Unpeg the sections at the back of the plane, extend the legs, flip out the toes, Fold up the wings, so twist them up, fold the outer wing over the under wing, flip out the arms, flip open the chest, flip up the head, extend the arms, and then we come to the backpack, which collapse the top, collapse the bottom on these double hinges, fold everything up into place, and as long as you do the double hinge correctly, Things will peg in just fine, unlike what I'm doing right now. And then they peg in, and you just fold up everything. And that door remains open. It doesn't fold up, unfortunately, in this mode. But it's out of the way, so you don't run into any problems. And there we go. I love the way these two look. The aerial bots have never been my favorite combiners, but I was really tempted by just the look of these guys. And they're small. They're very, very well detailed. They're well put together. They feel great in the hand and they look good. I think these are some of the best aerial bots we've ever gotten in third party. Now, I haven't bought the Zeta Toys big ones because quite frankly, I just don't have the room or the patience. I'm much more feeling these smaller figures, especially for the aerial bots, because as I said, they weren't my favorite. Posability for both of these guys is excellent, and they both possess the same posability. Ball joint in the foot, hinge in the knee, thigh swivel, ball joint in the hip. Torso articulation is non-existent, unfortunately. 
Shoulders are ball joints and hinges and plenty of movement. Unfortunately, the fists do not articulate, but the heads do. Head Skull for Sky Strike is really nice. I like the look of it, and it's very reminiscent of the original character. Same goes for Down Thrust. They even got the orange face right from the original show, which I appreciate. The robot modes aren't perfect though, however. For specifically Down Thrust, his tail wing keeps popping off, so I just end up leaving that off to the side. Now, both of these figures have one little annoyance. It's not a flaw, it is just an annoyance, and that has to do with the wrists. The wrists do not stop there. They go all the way to about 10 degrees past the point where you think they should stop. That's annoying. And also they don't swivel, which again is annoying, but this, this little bit is me nitpicking because whenever I pick it up, the gun moves and it looks weird. Or if like a stiff breeze comes by, the wrists have a tendency to move. And you know what? Not the end of the world. It's just annoying. And it annoys me. So there. I would like to commend Zeta Toys on their directions for these little guys because they're fantastic. They're not actual pictures of the figure, but rather 3D models of the figure, probably from the CAD. And then everything is in the directions, color-coded. If you've got red-green color blindness, no, though, it's gonna be a problem but still for those of us that have regular sight these are really good really clear super easy to follow oh and both of these guys become the legs see both are feet no idea yet on how they are actually going to combine other than if you look at each robot mode there is a panel that opens up on the back and i suspect oh yep there is a slot there that looks exactly like something is supposed to fit there for a com combined mode. So yeah, that's pretty much how. For the feet though, not totally sure, other than there are slots on the bottom of each figure, one at the back of the heel and one just by the foot. That's probably, oh yeah, and there's a channel right there as well. So that's probably how they're gonna do it. Though, I'm not sure how they're going to do it with the feet sticking out like this. So that's a good question. Don't know yet. I'm sure we'll find out soon. In terms of size, they do scale much bigger than a core class figure. And they're even bigger than a Legends class figure. So these guys are just a bit bigger than Legends, as, as you can see. Overall, I'm super happy with these two so far, and I hope the rest of them come out soon. I really hope I can pick up the next two at TFCon at the end of October. If not, eh, they'll probably be out in November. Maybe. We'll see. Shipping right now is uh, really rough. Overall, are they worth your money? I think so. If you're a fan of the aerial bots, then these little guys are awesome. If you're not a fan of the aerial bots, maybe wait for them to go on sale. So that has been my review for Zeta Toys, Sky Strike, and Down Thrust. Mini! I really like these figures. Please let me know what you think of these two down in the comments, and while you're down there, extend the description and head over to the Chosen Prime to pick them up for yourself. Please be sure to like and subscribe this video, and please be sure to hit that bell. All of your support, the likes, the subscribes, the comments, all of that tells YouTube that you want to continue watching my videos. Again, thank you so much for watching. I have been Walt Matrix, and I'll catch you all next time.